Okay, so the uh, next project in the garage is the 1972 XS650. It's uh, a basket case, really. And what we're going to do now that I've got the, the lift done is start tearing into it. Uh, I'm going to do a full mock-up on the bike prior to really any other work. Um, once it's all mocked up, I've got all the pieces and know where everything's going to go. I'm going to send the motor out to uh, Toad Town Racing to Gary Swan and have him uh, go through the motor and uh, get it ready. Uh, but meanwhile, there's a lot of work that I can do. Um, and we're going to take a quick look at the bike and uh, some of the things I'm going to do. I think my plan for this bike is to create a cafe scrambler. Uh, something that you know I can get through the canyons with, uh, but I can also take my wife on the back because it's a lot of longer seat. Uh, and also has bars that are a little bit more upright um, in stance. So the 72 is pretty cool because everything seems to be here. The frame seems to be straight. And aside from just removing a lot of these little unnecessary tabs, I'm going to go ahead and keep the, uh, the frame pretty much intact. Leave the rear foot pegs. Going to go with a rear drum brake uh, and then I'm going to do a modern uh, disc brake. Probably use something from like a uh, GSXR. So one of the ideas I had to keep this bike really light, really simple and a lot of negative space was to run a really tiny battery tucked right up underneath the seat. And we're talking about a battery that isn't probably as thick as this frame. So if I create a seat pan directly underneath it, I should be able to lay a battery in here. And hopefully the rest of the electronics without actually creating a funky little box. Um, and in doing so, uh, I probably won't have the ability and or won't need the starter motor. We'll just keep this kickstart only. The wheels on this bike are actually from a 74. And as you can see, there's a little hop in this one. Uh, but they're cool wheels and if I can have someone straighten them, and I've got a couple of names for that, I think I'll be back, I'll be in the money. Probably go ahead with stainless steel spokes, either polish or power coat uh, the hub and the rim. This uh, is the front wheel and it's a 19. As you can see it's in better shape than the rear. Also has a little hop in it, maybe it's on this side. Yeah, there it is right there. But I'm thinking that's someone can pull that out. Uh, they're cool. I like the uh, lift that they've got inside here. Um, I guess they've probably hauled out a shoulder. But um, I think that'll actually uh, make this bike correct in terms of you know vintage and look. The tank. I'm going to see if uh, I can have someone do the body work on because these 70 older tanks are pretty cool. Um, I like the filler filler cap on these. It's kind of got a racy kind of vibe about it. And it's a steel tank, and I think that's cool too. Um, I guess most tanks are steel. The street tracker I go, have over there, that's uh, fiberglass. I might even uh, go with kind of these, in, in, these vintage inspired tank lines when they do the repaint. I think this is going to be a lot of fun. It should be a light little bike. You know, when I'm in the canyons with my friends with leader bikes on this little 650 over here, I have no problems keeping up with them. Um, I would say this is probably going to be the same um, real light and weight. And, you know, after Gary gets done with the uh, rebuild, I would imagine this thing is going to move along nicely. Keep this a real simple build so that I'm not in it a ton of money and I'm out in the wind.